Walker Stalker Con took over Rosemont this past weekend. Stars from AMC's hit drama series, The Walking Dead, showed up and showed out, and they interacted with thousands of fans. This morning, we're excited to have Sarah Wayne Callies here with us. Sarah, you were born in Chicago. Mm -hmm. You filmed the first season of Prison Break in Chicago. Can we claim you? Go right ahead. Okay. I loved it. I've been to, um, although this might upset Chicago fans, I have been to World Series games for both the White Sox and the Cubs, which I don't know if that makes me not Chicago or pro-Chicago. I think that makes me even more Chicago. <laughs> we'll, we'll take what we can get. Um, so you just came off the heels of Walker Stalker Con, which is yeah. a zombie convention, right? I, it's, a, it's a Walking Dead, et cetera, convention, yeah. And you had a crazy fan experience. Yeah, it was really moving, actually. I, you know, I don't, I don't do too many of these, um, but it's a pretty amazing opportunity to go out and kind of interact with fans. And I had a young woman come up to me and tell me, it, like, it made me so emotional. She, uh, she said, you know, a few months ago, you put a post on Instagram that said something like, uh, you're beautiful today, have a wonderful day, yes, this means you. And I was like, yeah, I, I kind of remember that. And she goes, I was going to kill myself that day, and nobody had ever told me I was beautiful, and I decided not to. And look, there must have been a million wow. things that went into that decision, but she was standing there. She said, thank you for saving my life. And I, I, I was like, I, this is a world I don't understand. You know, like the, the world I grew up in did not have Instagram. It did not have social media. It did not have fan conventions. These are all things that were brand new. And I just kind of looked at her and gave her a hug. I was like, I'm glad you're here. And um, it was an incredibly moving weekend. <laughs> yeah, it, was, really is. it was a really surprisingly intense emotional experience. Uh, well, I'm glad that you mentioned your Instagram because you do post very inspirational things. You talk a lot about <laughs> um, female empowerment and you've been playing strong female characters since 2003. Um, everybody remembers you from Prison Break. That was one of my favorite shows. Thank you. What was it like when people first started noticing you and coming up to you and knowing <laughs> your name? I mean, the very first time anybody ever recognized me, I was getting a salad at some like salad fast food place. <laughs> and the woman behind the thing, she takes my order, she looks, she goes, you're the girl from the show. And I was like, uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> and I remember she gave me a free salad. And I remember thinking, I've been so poor for so long and I can finally afford my own food and you just bought me a salad. I'm super grateful, but it like, it didn't quite make sense. It's backwards. You know I mean? It was so strange. You need the free stuff before you're Exactly. Famous. Buy a free salad for a struggling bartender. Don't buy somebody anything you see on TV. They can afford the salad. Uh, well, you're all over our TVs. Your character, Lori Grimes, was on The Walking Dead. Yes, ma'am. And uh, now it's in its eighth season. So you were on it yeah. for three seasons. Yeah. Do you hang out with anyone from the cast? We're, uh, the first season cast is a really close cast, yeah. And the second, too, I mean, I don't really know anybody on the show anymore. Right. Um, but, you know, I mean, John and Norman and Steven, Scott Wilson, Melissa, like, those are really dear friends. I was in the hospital the day John's baby was born, actually. Yeah, um, yeah it, it became a show that had a much longer life than just the filming, which is pretty beautiful. It sounds like you have a three-season thing. Like, after three <laughs> seasons, then you're gone. And so I'm, this is the third season of Colony. I'm hoping you're going to stick around. <clears throat> it is. I mean, it would hardly be a spoiler, even if I came out and was like, <laughs> I die in the middle of the season. Um, I mean, the thing that was really cool about this season is I got to direct my first episode of television. So that was the thing that stood out for me and was kind of unique on this season. That's, it, that's pretty cool. Is that something that you've been wanting to do for a while or did it just sort of happen? Um, I mean, I, I definitely had to fight hard for it. I, I, in some ways, I almost started directing out of self-defense, by which I just mean I've been in, in, luckily, almost 200 episodes of television. I've loved every minute of it. Um, but I have had very few female directors, and there was a certain point at which I think I realized that I had to stop complaining about it and just haul off and become one. Wow. Do you, um, you don't have to like get into any details, but does Me Too and that movement feel personal to you? Profoundly. Um, it's actually so personal that I haven't been able to talk about it publicly. Right. I think, to me, the most heartbreaking part of this whole thing is realizing how pervasive it is. I think for a lot of us, we put up with certain things and were quiet about certain things because we figured that it was just us. And if we just kept quiet and kept our heads down and kept our careers moving, we could finally move into positions of authority like directing and we could make Hollywood a bit of a safer place. Um, there were about two weeks where I couldn't eat and I couldn't sleep because I realized that there were so many other women who'd put up with it. And, you know, the sort of dark night of the soul movement, movement, moment for me had to do with wondering if I had spoken up earlier, would this not have happened to mm. other people? 
and that's, that's definitely something I'm still struggling with. Um, it feels to me like the best thing I can do is move into directing and make sure that my set is always a safe place. Yeah, I really yeah. like that. Thanks for, thanks for doing that. Yeah. Awesome. And thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, you've had so many memorable characters, so I think people are going to be excited <laughs> that you're here. Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me. Um, so, Sarah, you don't want to miss the new season of her show, Colony, on USA. And make sure to watch Episode 9, which is the one that she episode directed. Nine.